Hi Vogue, this is Rahul Mishra. This pandemic gave me this thought, why do we need to make more clothes in the world? This slowness um, with least amount of human interference also showed, I think, most blue sky possible in Delhi during lockdown. I think Kutya have become far more meaningful for us. Each and every, you know, whether it's a gown which is being embroidered or a lenga panel which is being made, creates so much of hope and work and promise for the future of hundreds of people, hundreds of artisans, gifted artisans who are part of our family, who are part of our brand. A new hope, this collection somehow you know, shows a grandeur of embroidery, the beauty which is created of hands, but at the same time stays very light to anybody's eyes. So making this collection was all about you know, going back to my, my, my own love of experimenting between architecture and florals. So this collection has got a combination of you know, uh, beautiful Jharokha artworks, Jali artworks from Mughal architecture. At the same time, beautiful floral artworks. And a few pieces also have got a very strong uh, colors where uh, we have taken you know, beautiful, vivid world of mushrooms in the entire outfit. Mushrooms of every possible shape, every possible color exists in that for one particular outfit. The outfit looks very, very light to the eyes, but it has more than you know, hundreds of shades within it. So it was quite a lot of, you know, process of creating nature and form journey, creating a journey which is, you know, lightweight, beautiful, captivating, yet understated. New age wedding occasions, they need, um, you know, a good amount of clarity of thought and one has to not think about the number of people who are going to attend the wedding any which way in today's time we have come to realize during lockdown that probably there are a handful of people in this world who matter to you the most so it is always good to dress for yourself dress for your own sensibilities We have done a few things where uh, we have dressed our entire family together. I think those have been one of the most exciting things for us. When we kind of, you know, create um, full look for six to ten members and uh, for the entire family. And so in that way, you know, in terms of giving variety of silhouettes, in terms of taking, you know, a lot of motifs from our uh, rich archives. Somehow, you know, nowadays weddings are all about, uh, you know, freezing that moment in time, capturing that, that, that moment in time, which probably after a few years, families will look back and would always cherish that time. Process of, uh, you know, creating genuinely haute couture pieces or couture pieces, um, which are made to measure, which are created for an entire family is a beautiful experience in its own way. You know, right now you might feel like a lot of things are getting very fidgetal uh, and most of the weddings are, are, you know, 
maybe 50 or 100 people are to attend the intimate function, but rest everybody uh, is seeing them online. But any which way those images were earlier also going through social media. So in the age of Instagram, in the age of uh, social media, I think uh, it is very important to, to, to remember to have a look which is, which is comfortable. The weddings are uh, more intimate than ever before and ultimately everything boils down to creating or freezing that moment in one beautiful family picture. So, so the sentiment is completely, you know, all about valuing the time, valuing the moment and how fashion or clothes can become a part of their own personality. So I think this big shift in entire mindset where, you know, the clothing rather than becoming uh, a tool to showcase yourself externally has become more of an internal satisfaction. I think this is a clear cut, a new journey, a new shift in Indian bridal territory. And obviously, a, a big Indian function or an intimate Indian wedding demands certain characteristic of an outfit, certain detailing in an outfit. So, along with details, if you can stick with lightweight options, so that literally garments do not weigh you down, uh, you know, with their weight, would do the winning trick. So I think uh, for me, organza is a fabric of choice for the summer. I think brides nowadays, especially young age girls, they are very, very evolved. They are very aware about what is happening in the fashion and they have got tremendous clarity of thought in terms of what they want. I think more than just one pretty outfit, they look for sincerity in terms of workmanship, in terms of people who are making those clothes and, and in terms of, you know, craftsmanship, finesse. So. Personally, in my opinion, and that's what I felt, even during pandemic, whenever I had few conversations, few opportunities to interact on Zoom call with brides or with grooms, I've learned a lot from them. I think their clarity of thought, their vision has been truly inspiring. And that is where I just seriously see a great promise for tomorrow in terms of mindful consumption which you're going to see happening. I think this bride doesn't want to consume just luxury. She wants to go for mindful luxury.